Um, thank you, Secretary, for coming in and offering your testimony. Um, under the subpoenas that we issued to DHS, um, your office has produced to this committee data showing that child separation skyrocketed after your zero tolerance policy went into effect. More than 2,000 children were separated from their parents in the two months following your memo that Secretary Nielsen accepted, some for more than a year. In making these decisions around family separation and child separation, did you all consider the emotional and mental impact on CBP officers in forcing them to take children away from their mothers and fathers? So we absolutely consider the well-being of our professionals who are strained with the mm -hmm. crisis they're facing. They're strained with the stories they're hearing of the dangers of the journey, the, the abuse of women and girls mm -hmm. and do you on the process of getting to the United States. Thank you for claiming my time. we worry about that. Uh, and do you believe, but did you, did you consider the dehumanizing effect on the officers, specifically in child separation, in forcing them to take children away from their parents? Enforcing the law often has emotional impacts for everybody involved, mm -hmm. uh, and that's something uh, that they sign up for, but it's something we want to provide resilient services, mental health support uh, for anyone who mm -hmm. needs it. Okay, and do you, do you agree with the federal court's decision that halted your child separation policy? I agree with the president's executive order on June 20th last year uh, that- But not the federal court's the decision? Of course, the, we followed the federal court order assiduously. Um, there have been reports that President Trump and Stephen Miller wanted to restart mass child separations earlier this year, but top DHS officials, including Secretary Nielsen, told them that this would violate the court order. Is that true? So the president said that, that zero tolerance prosecutions of adults crossing with family is mm -hmm. not on the table at this time. So, so you are saying that um, it's incorrect, the reports are incorrect saying that uh, the president wanted to restart child separation? I, I'm referring to the president's public statements on this okay. issue. But privately, this is not in your on the experience. Table, not being considered. In, so in your experience, the answer is no. He did not consider restarting child separation? Yeah, sir, first of all, I'm not going to speak about conversations with the president that I've personally had. I'm not aware of other deliberations between other officials. Um, Mr. Secretary, there were reports that um, the president offered you a pardon for closing the border to asylum seekers. According to a CNN report, a senior administration officials told CNN that President Trump um, told you he would grant you a pardon if you were sent to jail for having border agents block asylum seekers from entering the U.S. in defiance of U.S. law. Is that correct? Yeah, I've testified about this, answered this question in the media. I've never been asked to do anything unlawful by the president or anyone else, nor would I. Okay, thank you. Um, Mr. Secretary, are you aware of the ProPublica report indicating that there were about 10,000 uh, potential current and former CBP officers in the violently racist and sexist Facebook group? I, I am aware of the ProPublica article, yes. Um, did you see any of the posts in the report? I did. Did you see the posts uh, mocking migrant children's deaths? I did. Did you see the posts planning physical harm to myself and Congresswoman Escobar? Yes, and I directed an investigation within minutes of reading the article. Did you see the images of officers circulating uh, photoshopped images of my violent rape? Yes, I did. Are those officers on the job today and responsible for the safety of migrant women and children? So there's a, an aggressive investigation on this issue, issue mm -hmm. proceeding. You've heard the chief of the Border Patrol, the most senior female official in law enforcement across the entire country say that these uh, posts do not meet our standards of conduct mm -hmm. and they will be followed up aggressively. But we've those already, officers... We've put individuals on administrative duties. I don't know which ones correspond okay. with which posts, and we've issued cease and desist orders to dozens and more. Okay. Um, do you think that the policy of child separation could have contributed to a dehumanizing culture within CBP that contributes and kind of spills over into other areas of conduct? 
We, we do not have a dehumanizing culture at CVP. Okay. Uh, this is an agency that rescues 4,000 people a year and that's mm -hmm. absolutely committed to the well-being of everyone that they interact with. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I don't Ms. believe there's a dehumanizing culture. And Mr. Secretary, I'm, so you don't think that having 10,000 officers in a violent, racist group sharing rape memes of members of Congress points to any concern of a dehumanized culture? Congresswoman, those posts are unacceptable. They're being investigated, but I don't think it's fair to apply them to the entire organization <laughs> or that even the members of that group believed or supported those posts. Mr. Secretary, uh, just one last thing. How did 10,000 members join this group, including, including, I believe, the head of CBP? Um, I'll double check, uh, including the CBP chief, how were they in this Facebook group without anybody knowing, without anyone in leadership knowing? Again, this is the subject of an ongoing investigation. If there was supervisory knowledge of unacceptable activities, that will also be considered uh, and followed up on. All right. Thank you very much.